Good morning, you guys. So I thought today I would take a little virtual tour through my sketchbook with you guys. Um, this is a little Moleskin accordion book here. There's my cat who's come to help, studio assistant here. Um, she's bunting the phone right now. <laughs> Hello, Zara. Um, so this is a page that I started by squeezing pomegranate seeds onto it. And they were bright red when they went on, um, making some of these splatter marks and splashes you see. And then they turned into this slightly more muted violet color. And then I went in during a political history class I was taking and um, added in extra bits and pieces. Uh, drew in what I saw and the different patterns that have been left behind or in the negative spaces from this. Um, next page is one of the free association pieces. Um, this piece here has a lot of stuff going on in it. It's kind of upside down here, truthfully, because sometimes I turn these, turn these things around, but you get the idea. Um, bugs and fish and sharks and crazy things on this cloud of even some more subtle details here. Um, this is a, an angler fish that I put in there. And this little guy here. These ones were done in, I think, colored pencils. So they're a little bit more subtle than some of the other marks by the pen. Oh, Studio Cat on the way through. This was a um, chest that I found in the street one day. So I took a photo of it and I drew it. The perspective is a bit off on it. <laughs> I like it anyways. Um, little caterpillar that I think I saw maybe in New Zealand once upon a time. I'm not 100% sure. Um, this is a page that I did on a train ride. Um, starting with the figures that you see there. So it's a little bit of a weird take on Mary Had a Little Lamb. <laughs> a kind of cyberpunk one. And then when I was in the train station, there was a little girl who was so fascinated with this, she was looking at it, and I said, do you wanna try drawing? And so she drew this little bear that's on here. And then eventually I went to see my my nieces, that's where I was heading, and my niece, when she realized someone else had drawn in there, was wondering if she could draw in there too. So I let her draw, and this is what she put in there. Um, next page is, oh, I think we're missing a page here. Uh-oh, oh, big reveal, okay. Uh, bugs, bugs, and more bugs. So this is a bug I saw in New Zealand that I took a photo of, and then I think I drew this on a ferry ride at some point uh, during my trip through New Zealand. Bugs from the <clears throat> local insectarium, which is sadly closed at the moment, uh, even prior to what's going on now. Um, this page here is from the Toronto Aquarium and a bug that was actually in my house one day. It's a shield bug and then a red winged blackbird that came from one of the local parks. Um, this is from, oh, extra creative supplies over there. Uh, this piece here is, was done in, um, the Toronto one of the Toronto museums, I can't remember which one. This was a really cool just uh, cabinet I saw one morning when I was having brunch. This crazy bug, uh, also from the Insectarium, I believe. And then these jellies were from the, gosh, uh, hmm, from the Biodome, I think, actually, from their jelly section. So I took photos and did those after the fact. Um, I really like these guys. These are one of my favorite drawings in this book. Next on the list is this page of snails and shield bugs. The snail was photographed in Paris and drawn well after the fact. And the shield bugs came from New Zealand, uh, from a crazy garden that had just tons and tons of beautiful flowers and lots and lots of shield bugs. Um, this cute little guy came from the Toronto Aquarium. I gave him a little speech bubble there. One second. Zoom in. Um, and then there's this kiwi that I took. This was actually a taxidermy kiwi um, that I took a shot of when I was in uh, New Zealand. And uh, yeah, I drew it after the fact here in Canada when I was working on the sketchbook. This page here is a mashup of 
uh, fish head from the Toronto Aquarium, and then an outfit out of the Napoleon exhibit here at the Museum of Fine Arts, uh, when the museum had its Napoleon exhibit on. And uh, I just mashed them up. So that was a fun piece to do. I, I like that a lot. And this cutie pie um, was again another taxidermied uh, bird from that same museum that the kiwi came from. Um, and it, it was with this spoon in its mouth and I've actually made a couple of works out of this because I really like this, uh, this particular bird. Um, and then, let's go after that, oh yeah, Ooh. um, this was all done in colored pencil. So this is a rhinoceros beetle, I think, and some sort of bumblebee, probably. I'm thinking it might be a cicada, I'm not sure. My insect, uh, identification is not strong this morning. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, last page in the sketchbook, the Royal Pickles. They are a band here in Montreal, and I just sat and sketched them for a little bit at the, um, at the Metro one day when they were playing. So that was probably last summer. Um, yeah, and that's just a little, a little, uh, look over my 